Welcome to Philadelphia, everyone, as the 76ers get ready to defend home court in the Eastern Conference. With Clark Kellogg doing the analysis, this is Kevin Harlan for 2K Sports in our broadcast of the NBA. Taking a look at Miami. Maybe not the start of the season they might have hoped for. Nonetheless, with plenty of games left, they've got time to work the kinks out. Jordan on the NBA hardwood for his very first game. It's got to be surreal to finally have his dream made a reality. Tell you what, this guy's a young stud. I mean, I like what I see in his game. He's already shown the ability to do a lot of things well, and uh, his work ethic lends itself to believing that he's going to continue to get better. He's going up against D. Wade himself. Wade is a stat sheet stuffer who's extremely explosive at getting to the rim. We'll see if he's up to the task. So the opening lineup for the Heat, Wade and LeBron are the wingmen. Chris Bosh and Ilgowskis in the middle, and Bibby. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Alpac King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. What's up with y'all? I'm bringing y'all a create a legend mood with Michael Jordan himself. His airness is back. And, you know, I feel as though I bring it to y'all plenty of times. So why not bring it to y'all in a mood where many people don't bring it? Seriously, um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to see how many points I could score, you know, how many rebounds I could get, how many assists I can get, and if I could even get a triple double in this mode. You know, I haven't seen too many videos. Like, I YouTubed it. I wanted to see, you know, how many people bring out that creative legend. Not many people bring it. I did see a couple, but, you know, I wanted to see what I could do. You know, as I just got that and one, you know, I didn't score the foul line shot, so, you know, I'm not going to put it in. <laughs> but I did want to bring y'all a new thing that I wanted to bring to all of my videos. Um, it's a little bit of cutout. Um, it's going to happen in the next three seconds. <laughs> the most of the second chance. Clark, he's showing us. Oh! oh! Plays like that are what makes this league so great. He's a special player. I don't care if you're a fan of another team. You have to admire someone, Clark, who can make those types of plays. Nice job at the line. That one falls. Here's Jordan. Hits it. And with the blocking foul, he'll have a chance for one more. What an acrobatic finish. I love the dunk, but you got to give it up for that kind of layup. And he completes the three-point play. All right. I want y'all to tell me if y'all like that. Um, what I did was I cut out my audio. You know, I turned the regular audio up. Let y'all get a little bit of foul line love, man. Get y'all get a little bit of and ones going. I want y'all to know if y'all like that, if I should feature that in my videos, you know, instead of y'all just listening to me talk all game. I want y'all, I want to know if y'all want to hear the commentators snap out. You know, if y'all want, I want y'all to know if y'all want to hear the crowd, you know, cheering for me. You know, just let me know. Uh, also, a lot of people had a couple questions about my athletic point guard, about my athletic center, about my scoring at athletic small forwards, and my Michael Jordan, my player. Um, everybody was asking me, will I be taking those guys to 2K12, and if I will, if I won't. What, what I do want to tell y'all is, my athletic point guard, I will be taking the 2K12. I will be making another one of myself. You know, I will be making a shooting guard and of course the shooting guard will be michael jordan himself also i will I'm, I'm not really sure about this but i'm not sure if i'll be making a point guard shooting guard a small forward to feature in crew games now the thing with that is if i make a point guard he's got to be 6-6 right if i make a shooting guard for crew games he's got to be 6-6 to 6-8 right now if i make a small forward he has to be from 6-8 to 6-10 now, the only reason that is because sometimes I'm not sure if I'll be running point or if I'll be running shooting guard or sh um, small forward. So I got to make sure of that. Also, about the center and power forward positions, I won't be making any. But I can do tutorials with power forwards and centers in the real game. Like uh, if you want a, a tutorial with Dwight or Paul Gasol, things like that. 
you know I'm, I'm really not sure but to each his own you know just hit me up and let me know if you guys want that <laughs> seriously um also next order of business is oh i hit that three yeah tied it up <laughs> but um what else do i gotta tell you guys about um i know y'all heard my last video about the games that i'm getting if you guys want me to get any type of game just let me know i may rent it i may buy it if i like it you know but i will make a video if you guys really want it that bad you know it's all about y'all you know it's about what you guys want and it's also about what i like bringing so let's get to it side jordan kept alive with the second effort gets the bucket and the foul that's on Dwayne Wade. He's really doing a nice job leading his team and setting a terrific pace this quarter. He's been absolutely dominant. The 76ers making a switch right here. Good for the three-point play. I have been going absolutely ape shit with Michael Jordan right now. Like, oh my God, I can't describe how easy it is to score buckets with this Michael Jordan, man. I'm getting assists, I'm getting rebounds, I'm getting dunks. It's ridiculous. Like, how many points do I have? Seriously. Seriously, how many points do I have? I don't even know yet. Let me check. I got 58 points so far. This is this is crazy, man. Look at this. This is too easy. Double moves, going in for layups. Oh, Lord. Wow. Wow. the bucket foul is called one free throw for him these clubs have been lighting up the scoreboard all game long and he makes the free throw yes! powers it down what a shot took the hit and was still able to maintain control to get it down and he ties it up all right y'all i'm back <laughs> uh basically man i just like these little foul line you know edits man they, they're perfect they're perfect for the game also the reason why i do them is because of course i'm playing on hall of fame and you know the more subs and friends that i get they don't know that i play on the hardest difficulty on the game so that's why i still do it um also this was a very tight game of course because of hall of fame and you know of course you know i can't play on the difficulty with mj that's easy <laughs> why would i do that and it's Miller picking him up. And it's a defensive three-second violation. As a team, they've been um, perfect from the line in this half. They've made them all. That's a good job. And that's Wade picks him up to end the run. And no good. But close on that one, so he'll shoot two. It's on Mike Bibby. Not a bad foul there, Kevin. You don't want him to get the easy layup. Them both. Oh man, did you guys hear them chant MVP for me? For MJ? Wow, man. <laughs> but yo, I, I just wanted to thank y'all for sitting here with me. This video is coming to an end. I want y'all to watch all of it. This is IKC signing out, man. Hit me up. Hit me up on Twitter ASAP. Right now. Right while I'm talking. Here's Jordan. Here's Holiday. Count it and the foul. Wade. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And no problem at the line.
so it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. It was tight, but they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight ones. Well, that'll do it for us. For Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke, Kevin Harlan saying so long. And as we end the game, we bring you our Jordan Brand Player of the Game.